Hi everyone, it's Simon here with a review of Access Denied. Access Denied is a logic-based puzzle game that's available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One and PC. The PS4 version is what you see on your screen and it was crossed by with the Vita, so yay for that and a quite quick and easy trophy list if you're into that. Uh, so platinums abound. Uh, the game itself revolves around 36 levels and what drew me into Access Denied initially is the fact that each puzzle, uh, puzzle is contained within a box. That box you can twist and turn around and try and solve all of its puzzles because it's supposed to be multi-dimensional so that you kind of go ooh solve that side move to another solve that side and kind of work your way around and I wanted that tactility in my puzzles. What I actually got was several different core mechanics that were layered on top of each other progressively as puzzles moved through the levels as you go. So it might be matching of symbols, it could be flicking on enough of switches to cause math puzzles and stuff like that. It could be that on one side is an etch -a sketch and the other side's a map with binary numbers for you to move up and down and try and plot out where you're going. There's no instructions, um, although there are complete walkthroughs now on the internet, oh lo and behold, so you can kind of bound your way through if you're just after trophies. Uh, but some of the logic is a bit obscure and takes a... You really have to look and try and work out what's different and new of this puzzle and there'll be a lot of trial and error so long as you're not looking at walkthroughs everywhere. I think that would spoil the game for you if you did so. The issues that I had with Access Denied though is that it didn't go far enough. The 36 levels are fine, but I was expecting a bit more variety for what was out there and given to me because there were some really nice little concepts, uh, particularly things like matching up of... Uh, graph lines and stuff like that that I thought they could have taken a lot further to add variety to what's going on as you'll get the same levels presented to you in a slightly different way again and again. The other issue that I had is with the control scheme. With a box that blatantly PC came first with this game it felt because everything felt like it was controlled with the mouse and then when ported to the PS4 and with the Vita the Vita I was really upset at how poor the touchscreen controls were even though they were there it just felt clunky and awkward but it's even more awkward when you have to click uh, move move the cursor of the left stick click and hold down with X and kind of pull things around to manipulate like uh, safe combination locks and stuff like that it just feels really clunky and poorly designed in that way which is a shame because actually if you want something to just run at your own pace there's very little urgency that you have with any of the levels if you do get stuck after about two or three minutes a skip button pops up uh, so if you do get stuck you can just move on to the next one and come back to it and there's a nice game there for a good 90 minutes, two hours max maybe, for you to try and plot your way through if you want to be logic-based puzzled. Um, however, outside of that, this is probably one for the trophy hunters, and uh, there's probably some better games out there. I'd like to see this type of concept return and be more fully fleshed out. I think if you're looking for games like this that would interest you, Perhaps the game Knot, which revolves around Chinese puzzle blocks and pulling and untying them, I think works better. Um, and there's also the Zen Knot series as well that's on PC and mobile. So thanks for watching. You guys take care. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.